You know, you don't have to be completely jacked up or a complete mess to need some help. Things could actually be going pretty well with you. And yet there are things or areas in your being where you know you could actually use some help. You're in a space that you'd rather not be in. Now that could be physical, mental, emotional, or just in your overall being. Are you just feeling a little, mm, I don't know what that is. Sometimes there are things still hanging on to us. And sometimes we are hanging on to some things that aren't really helping us at all. Just know that this is a big time of transformation. This is a big time of change. This is a big time, a perfect time, to set some really, really strong uh, things in motion. This is a good time to do that because the world is shifting. You have probably been feeling this. Well, yeah, it's a good time to take a look at things like, what do I really want to do? How do I really want to roll? These questions, they can be difficult. They can make us feel uneasy to just go, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's stop. Let's just stop and focus and get some clarity on what I'm trying to do here. There will be obstacles. Those obstacles can be people. Those obstacles can be environment in general. Those obstacles can be personal habits. There are a lot of different things. Quite often we get caught up in just the madness of just feeling stuck. I know that's a very broad term, feeling stuck. But that's one of the simplest ways to put it just stuck and you know that this state of being stuck is not where you want to be or how you want to be and quite often you'll be wondering what the hell how am I here again how am I in this space well <sighs> it's you yeah we can have stuff come at us from other people. We can have things come at us from the environment, energies, from all kinds of different angles. However, the number one thing you have in your corner is you. Making yourself, forcing yourself, lovingly demanding of yourself that you hold the line is not always easy. It's not always easy. One of the things that I've used for many, many years is candle work. It's one of the things in my toolbox, but it's one of my favorite tools because I've been using this tool since I was a kid, just to get my focus together, just to bring myself back on track with things that I've tried to set in motion. Never really shared this type of work before this past year, but I have been regularly sharing candle work, rituals and healing sessions every month, twice a month, on the new moon and the full moon. The new moon energy works differently than the, the full moon energy. It's all energy and it's all focus and it's all from within, but working with the elements, working with what's going on energetically on the planet. So this next one, we're focusing on breaking free. And what does that mean? That's a very broad statement, but what it means is Letting go of things that simply aren't helping the forward motion that you have set for yourself. Letting things go, breaking free of those things that are weighing you down. You don't have to hang on to that stuff. 
And even though, yeah, we know this, you know this, this isn't news, you know this. What I'm offering here is an opportunity to try something different, or if you already do this kind of work, to go a little bit deeper in it. Because at the end of the day, what we want is results. I know I have experienced a lot of results. Someone I've just been working with for a while just shared some things with me that are pretty overwhelming in terms of things getting better. Because why? Better focus, more pinpointed intention, more self-awareness, and a lot more releasing of things that don't work using this tool to focus on what your intentions are. Using this tool to expand your awareness of you and what you can do to feel better, to be better. So, if you want to join me, check it out. I think you're going to like it. I really do. It's all about results.